We will continue with this rainfall through a good part of the morning. It's still going to be scattered in nature, but the later we get into the morning, the more this rain starts to ease. But with everything we picked up so far, there is a flood advisory that has been issued for a good portion of central Indiana. So until 9 a.m., there is a flood advisory for Marion County, parts of Hamilton, Boone County, Hendricks County, Morgan County, Northern Johnson County, out to the west towards Greencastle into Putnam County. And then until 11 a.m., they have added this one on that includes a large portion of Shelby County, still a little more of Johnson County in there too, and just the tip there of Hancock County. Yesterday, we picked up more than an inch of rain in Indy, but notice other areas that didn't get a whole lot. We were only near a tenth of an inch in Lafayette and just a little more than that up in Peru. Then we pick up today's totals. So since midnight, we've seen over a half an inch of rain in Indy this morning, but Lafayette still on the lighter side. Those rainfall totals steer still near only a tenth of an inch, while Shelbyville from that rain this morning, you've picked up more than two inches. So it's very scattered on who got the heavy rain and who did not. We're at 62 degrees in Indy, 63 in Columbus. We'll see the rain easing as we get into the later morning hours, but still expecting drizzle and some light rainfall even by noon. And then as we head into the afternoon, I'm expecting us to get into some breaks of sunshine, but we still could have a few lingering isolated showers around as temperatures do rise into those lower 70s and then we'll be drying as we head into the overnight hours for your Thursday. We start off with temperatures in the 50s and then we'll see high temperatures much warmer upper 70s. But come tomorrow late afternoon into the evening hours, we'll have the chance for a few isolated showers to return, but a lot of dry time for you tomorrow. Friday's looking to be a rather wet day with scattered showers arriving into the morning through the afternoon and evening and then widely scattered showers on Saturday. Saturday will still have a lot of dry time in it as well. Highs get back to eight over the weekend into the mid 80s by Sunday and we'll keep that warmth around as we get into early next week.